Hello everybody, Marcos Villegas here with Keith Thurman, who takes on Julio Diaz this Saturday, main event on Showtime at the StubHub Center. And Keith, you have a lot of momentum coming in, and I see parallels between yourself and Lucas Matisse, where they were building him up and, and there was a lot of fanfare because of the knockouts. Coming into this fight, what do you want to show everybody? You know, that my power is true, man. Um, that we're going to get another knockout, you know. Um, but if not, if not, you know, I'm going to, I'm just going to show my case my skills and my talent, man. I'm going to show everybody in the world of boxing that this boy can box, man. You know, there's a few articles out there lately. You, you've seen people start to shift and start to title me as a boxer puncher. And I believe that's really where I belong. Um, but it's up to me, man. The fighter fights his fight, you know? If I want to stand there and bang, I'm going to stand there and bang. If I want to move and dance around you, I'm going to dance around you, you know? Um, I've been boxing for 18 years, man, and um, I've been working hard to harness my skills and my craft. And i got a few more tricks and a few more things to show you guys. Well, we want to see those tricks on, on Saturday night. Looking at just the, the picture at welterweight, a lot of things going on in that division, but a lot of people are wanting to see you and Floyd in the near future. A lot of fans say, no, Keith's not there yet. He hasn't fought the guys that merit to get a Mayweather fight. When you hear that, do you agree with them, and what do, do you overall feel about that? Well, at the end of last year, Ring Magazine had me ranked number seven um, in the welterweight division, okay? So, you're number seven, that means you, you're in top ten, you know? For those who believe that I haven't done anything to truly deserve it, I can understand where they're coming from. It's not truly my fault, but they're not putting me in the ring with top 10 fighters. You know, how many times did I ask to fight Robert Guerrero, who's still in the top 10 with Ring Magazine, you know? Um, earlier this year, we asked to fight Sean Porter, and his dad said, not necessary, we can do that later for bigger, bigger dollars, more money, you know? Um, Madonna ever in there as well? Madonna was supposed to be my HBO uh, debut, you know, and he pulled out three weeks ahead of time. So there's been a lot of missed opportunities to prove and to truly showcase my skills and talent to the world of boxing as a welterweight. But, um, you know, the one thing that interests me and Floyd right now is that he is fighting Marcos Madonna. And Marcos Madonna has the title, which I'm the mandatory fighter to fight. I don't know the details behind the fight. I know Floyd doesn't really like to hold on too many belts at once, but I wonder, is that belt on the line? Is the WBA title on the line come May 3rd? If it is, I'm in line for that title. And if Floyd's holding on to it, then I'm, I'm your mandatory. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know when I'm going to get my opportunity. I know the fans would love to see it. I know I'd give him one hell of a fight, you know? But we'll see, man. Boxing, boxing is a very funny game, man. We'll see what happens. You know, looking at uh, your opponent, he seems focused. And in speaking with him, he's not really buying into your KO power. And I asked him, well, why? And he's like, well, I'm going to ask you this question. Who has he knocked out? So based on that statement in which he said, how do you respond? Well, you know, a knockout is down for the 10. You know, a, uh, a TKO is when the ref calls it off. There's been plenty knockouts where the ref just didn't finish the count, you know. So, you know, matter of fact, hey, I'm not a puncher. Keith one time Thurman can't punch, baby. I can't punch. You know, I got powder puffs. Please, walk into them. You know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about it. He can have all the opinions in the world, man. A lot of people do, you know. But step in the ring and feel it for yourself. You know, matter of fact, I like to hit him soft. I like to hit him soft. And then all of a sudden I hit him hard. You know, so, you know, Diego Chavez, after talking about my fight, said he didn't really feel my power, feel my power, but you were on the ground, not once, but twice, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why the name is one time, because there's going to be one time in that ring where I sit down, and so do you. Yeah. <laughs> Keith, you got to get a job with Showtime or commentate, man. You, you really have a gift in, in which uh, speaking to the camera or anything like that. And uh, good luck this Saturday. It's a huge fight. And I know a lot of good things will come in the future for you if you keep uh, what you're doing. Thank you very much. We certainly appreciate it. Man right next to me taking on Julio Diaz this Saturday on Showtime.